Hi, I'm Mariano with Guitar Center. I'm here with Drew from Roland today. How you doing? Hey, Mariano. Good to see you. Yeah, man. Good to see you. So we're going to talk about the Roland BT-1 bar trigger pad. Fairly new product. Great little accessory to add to an electronic drum set or an acoustic drum set. Mm -hmm. Great way to add an extra pad. Can mount directly to the hoop of the drum and uh, gives you access to plug it into a device to trigger a sound without taking up a lot of room and for not a lot of money. You mentioned that this can be added to electronic kits and acoustic kits as well. How do we actually mount that to the kit? With the BT-1, uh, out of the box, it, you simply take an existing lug off the drum where mm -hmm. you want to place it. It clamps right on the hoop. Mm -hmm. You take the lug, you tighten it up with your drum key. Doesn't affect the tuning of the drum at all. Mm -hmm. Holds it really firmly in place and uh, sits independently off the drum. And again, doesn't affect the way you would play your acoustic mm -hmm. or your electronic pad at all. It's just an additional pad that you can place in a very convenient way to uh, access additional sounds. Now, you mentioned that it mounts off the drums. Would that be maybe any issues when you're hitting that drum, accidentally triggering the, the bar trigger? Actually, no. The, the actual internal design of the BT-1 it, electronically is designed to uh, resist crosstalk. And by crosstalk, if I were to hit the acoustic drum really hard, this pad would not make a sound until I hit it directly. Mm -hmm. And that's very, very important, especially when you're incorporating electronics with acoustic drums so you don't have a sound happening when you don't want it to happen. Yeah, exactly. So you mentioned that you can attach this to the drum via lug tension rod. Can you mount it any other ways or it has to be mounted that way? Actually, the BT-1 includes additional mounting hardware where you can uh, mount it on a standard rod for like, mm -hmm. say, a tom holder or a cowbell mount, oh, percussion cool. mount. And it actually comes with the hardware with a couple of attachment screws used with a drum key. You just simply take it, line it up, Put it on, you're ready to go. Very cool. So you have a lot of versatility of how you want to place it in the kit. You mentioned that this could be plugged in into a bunch of different devices. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, right here we have it plugged into the SPD-30, mm -hmm. but uh, you can plug it into any kind of brand of product out there. Yeah, well, what, what you're looking at is primarily a, a device that has a trigger input, mm -hmm. a quarter inch trigger input. The BT-1 does come with the connecting cable is included. So as you mentioned, the Octopad SPD-30, the SPD-SX sampling pad has mm -hmm. trigger inputs. Any of the Roland V-Drums TD modules mm -hmm. typically have one or more extra mm -hmm. trigger inputs that you can use. Even our um, new trigger module will work great on it. So if you have a trigger input, you have an open jack, there's a place to put that BT-1 in. Excellent. So this is just not only a great way to uh, add to your electronic kit, you know, when you have you want more more pads on the electronic kit, but also kind of hiding your like you know some additional sounds on your acoustic drum set. Right, and the beauty of it again because of the mounting options mm -hmm. is you don't have to sacrifice the way that you set up your your drum set. If you want to add some electronics without having to get an extra stand or adjust the setup that you're mm -hmm. comfortable with, you can place it in a comfortable location where it's easy to access, it's easy to play, and it doesn't get in your way. Yeah, like sometimes people have issues with like a 12 or 14 inch pad. Yeah. It's just way in the way of all the other things. Now this thing is yeah. really hidden on your kit. Or in many cases, you may not have, may be playing in a venue where you don't have room for that extra pad or that extra stand, have a small, area where the drums are, so it doesn't take up any more room than the drum that it's mounted on. The BT-1 does not have any actual sounds itself. It's not something you plug into an amplifier and you're good to go, right? No, you have to plug it into some kind of a sound source, whether it be, for example, the Octopad, a drum module, mm -hmm. SPDS, any of those devices that have external trigger inputs on the back of them, then you're accessing the sounds of what you're plugging it into. Also, this is just a one zone trigger. Correct, yeah, it will only allow you to play one sound or trigger one sound at a time. However, another great feature of it is it has very even triggering across the entire playing surface. So you don't have to worry about a sweet spot and hitting directly in the center. Anywhere you play across the surface of the BT-1, it's gonna function just fine. Thank you, Drew, for all the information on this BT-1. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Roland BT-1 Bar Trigger Pad. A great way of adding extra sounds to your acoustic drum set or electronic drum set. Check them out at Guitar Center stores or guitarcenter.com.